Okay, good morning. This is my video on titrating uh, a benzo so that you can slowly taper down off of your dose. Um, I'm going to show you basically real quick step by step how to um, how to perform the titration. It's actually pretty simple. I'll show you some of the elements that you need. Um, I have here what's called a mortar. This is where you would crush um, a pill down. Um, I have a pestle over here that goes with it. I stopped using this. I was using this at first and now I don't use it anymore because I've learned how to titrate using a very minute amount of alcohol. And I'm gonna show you that method because that method is far better for dilution than um, crushing it with the pestle. Okay? So again, let's go through all the things that you're probably gonna need. At least the cont I'm using this now as a container where I dilute um, the drug. So you can use that or you can use anything uh, else like a small little measuring cup or you know a little glass jar whatever you want to use but I use this because it just makes it easy for me because I was originally crushing the drug in that before I started using alcohol okay so that's one thing that you're gonna need you're gonna need a hundred milliliter uh, cylinder um, I was able to get this on the internet for very inexpensive probably two bucks or for Amazon um, I have a whole bunch of 10 milliliter syringes you're gonna need one of those I would buy like a 50 pack because um, eventually they stop working 100% properly and you get air bubbles. So, you know, maybe every couple of days I change to a new one. Okay, so that's this, that's, that's what else you're gonna need. I have two of these glass jars. As you see, I already have a dose made in one of the glass jars, but I have two. I like to make two doses for two days so that I'm always prepared. All right, so you need a glass jar and has a little cover that goes on top so it seals very nicely. You don't have to refrigerate your dose. It can stay out. Once it's in the alcohol, it stays good for several days. Okay, so, and then I have a small bottle of Smirnoff, which is about 50% alcohol by volume or 100 proof. That will easily dilute the benzo. Um, sometimes people use Everclear, which is a little more of a powerful vodka, but this vodka is just fine. Okay, um, I also have a couple of toothpicks. These are little things you use to pick your mouth, you know, like when you have food stuck in them. That really helps me to make sure that the drug is completely diluted once it um, has the alcohol on top of it. It happens relatively quickly, but this way I don't have to touch it with my fingers and I can really pinpoint um, the breaking down of the drug. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this real quickly. I'm taking right now Valium, okay? I've been titrating, I've been tapering off of 10 milligrams of Valium. I, I crossed over from Klonopin to Valium. That was a long road, that's a whole nother video. But basically right now, I'm just gonna show you how to titrate Valium, okay? Or well, you could do this with any other drug that will, will titrate most benzos will. The Valium definitely does it, okay? So right now, I'm titrating off of four milligrams, okay? So I'm gonna put two two milligram tablets, if you can see there's two there in my hand, into this right here, okay? You can see that, okay? And then I usually do is I'll, I have my little pill container and I lean it on the side like this. Okay, so that I make sure I get the alcohol on top of it. And then I take some alcohol, I pour it into this little small container, like this. And I get my syringe, and I take two milliliters of alcohol. Just two, very small amount. Wouldn't affect you if you had an alcohol problem or anything like that. This wouldn't be something to be concerned about. And I just take the two milliliters, as you can see. Okay, I put it down to two. It's a little bit hard to see, but you figure out how to use the syringe once you get one. And then I just pour it right on top of those two tablets. Okay, I'm gonna kind of move the camera a little bit so you can see better, but. Okay, so now the alcohol is just sitting on top of the two tablets. And already, I think if I'm looking at this properly, already you can see that it's starting to break down the pills really nicely, okay? 
So I'm going to switch the camera to the, I can't think I could do that with the video, um, to the other angle. But what, I, what I'll then do is, after a few minutes, I usually let it sit there for a few minutes, I'll start to tap at it with that little toothpick, and you can see how quickly it breaks down. It's pretty much dissolved already. Okay, so I'm going to go like this so you can see. And I just break it down really simply. It's much better when it's on its side like that. Because it kind of stays in the corner of the... And it gets inside all the alcohol. Okay? So that's it. Now you can see that the, the, two milligram, the 4 milligrams is completely dissolved. Okay, so I'm going back to me now. Alright, so now I've got the, the dissolved drug. Oh no, I just poured it out. That's not good. Where did it go? Right there. Alright, I'm going to have to do this over again. But this is just for example anyway. Okay, so basically without pouring it out, and I'm just trying to show you. Alright, now I get my 100 milliliter cylinder. And I fill it up. to the top. All right, I usually go a little bit over and then I'll pull out the amount to get it to an equal 100. Okay, so that's, that's about 100 there. Look at it from the side. Okay, so that's like 100 right there. Then I subsequently take two more milliliters of water out. Why did I do that? Because I have two milliliters of vodka in here. So I got to make 98 here and two there equal 100. And then very simply, two milliliters of water into the sink. Now I have 98 milliliters in the cylinder and two milliliters of vodka in the, in the, pest, in the mortar. All right, so then... I come to my glass jar, like this, and I pour the water into this mortar, wish, wish it around, make sure that the pill is in there completely, come a couple times, water, pour it in, water, pour it in, until I got all the drug out, and I pour the rest of the water in here. Okay, so now I have a container of 100 milliliters of water, actually 98 milliliters of water, 2 milliliters of vodka, 100 milliliters of liquid com complete with the 4 milligrams of value, okay, in there. And then I mix it for 20 seconds. I have 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Alright, so let's just say it's 20 seconds. So while it's whisking around, it's in a circle, it's, it's distributing evenly throughout the whole jaw and now I can pull out as much um, of the liquid as I need and obviously because it's a hundred milliliters if you pull out one milliliter you're pulling out one percent of the drug so now you're down from four milligrams to whatever one percent would be you know, 0 0.04 milligrams of the drug out Every day. So it's just basically 1%. Just think of it that way. 1 milliliter equals 1%. So what I do is every single day, I take out 1% more. So today, if I was starting my 4 milligram cut, let's say, I take out 1%. Tomorrow, I take out 2%. Or 2 milliliters. 3, 4, every day, every day, every day. Until I got down to a respective dose that equaled... Um, another whole number, right? So I want to I want to take out the percentage that would go take me from four milligrams to three milligrams. That percentage is twenty five percent. Because all you got to do is put three over four, and you get seventy five percent. So I want to cut by twenty five percent to get me to seventy five percent of the four milligram dose, which would be an equivalent of three milligrams. It's a little bit of math. It sounds a little complicated, but all you got to do is keep putting over the whole number, which is the four milligrams in this case, the number that you want to get to. I want to get to three. I got to cut 25% to get to three. So I do 25 days of cut 
then I'm at three milligrams. And then what I do is for like five days, I hold steady on the three milligrams by cutting whole pills instead of using a titration, just for a week, just to balance myself out. So I'll cut one of the pills in half, I'll take a pill and a half, I'll be at three milligrams for a week. Then I'll start a new titration. At three milligrams, I'm gonna cut 33 days to get me to two milligrams, because if you put two over three, that's 66. Basically 33% would get me to the next cut, which would be two milligrams. I hope that you're, you're, you're I'm following this. If you have any questions, you can call me. But let's just say for me, for example, right now, I, I'm trying to get to, to 25%. I've cut already 22, so with this dose, I would cut 23 uh, milligrams off. I would throw 23 milligrams into the sink. So I'd pull 10, I'd dump it, I'd pull another 10, I'd dump it, I'd pull another three, and I'd dump it. And then that dose is what I would take. And when I drink it, I make sure I put a little more water in at the end to make sure I get all the residue. I hope you're kind of understanding what I did. If you have any questions, I can answer them. You can call me. And if not, that's the basics of it. I spilled a little bit, so I'm going to end up dumping this dose out completely because it's not, it's going to be impossible for me to measure what fell onto the table. So uh, I let two pills go, but that's all right. That's not the end of the world. Um, I have a good doctor who will prescribe me as much value as I need because they know that I'm, I'm doing this and I'm trying to get off of it. I have an appointment this week, so I have probably another 50 days worth of drug anyway so I'm not concerned about that and obviously you wrap everything up by rinsing it and cleaning it you pour the vodka back into here I mean this vodka is still almost full and I've been already doing this for like almost three months so you're not going to drink a lot of alcohol if that's what you're concerned about okay and that's basically it any questions call me bye